Okay, this is just a quick video. This is Joe KF7MIX to show a uh, complete JS8 call station in an ammo can. Uh, there'll be a separate write-up on my blog for this, but I just wanted to make a little video to kind of show what that looks like and how that fits. I ended up, um, I've been fiddling around with the USDX and JS8 call and the Raspberry Pi, and I thought, you know, all this stuff would easily fit in an ammo can, and you can see there's actually quite a bit of extra space in there. But uh, let me show you what I was able to fit in this can. This is a standard steel ammo can. Uh, you know, the, the idea here is that, you know, you could keep some gear in here and have it be fairly protected against um, pretty much everything. So, all right, let me show you what's in here. The very first thing is we've got a couple of antennas here on top. This is meant to be a complete station. So this is a Ham Geeks uh, mini antenna. It's got the tuner and the antenna. Here's a whip. Uh, it's supposed to be multi-band. To be honest, I haven't played very much with this antenna. It is a compromise antenna, and uh, from my minimal testing, it does not work well, but I thought, hey, I have it. If it's in here, it's something's better than nothing. Uh, another antenna I got in here is, I can't remember the guy that I got it from, but there's a guy on eBay that sells these dipoles um, ready to go. So this is a 40 meter dipole, and, and the uh, case that it comes in. Got a bit of coax, um, you know, I'm not, I wasn't, for this kit, I wasn't planning on doing anything massive. I think this is 15 feet of coax. And then here's a, just a little coax patch cable that I'll, that uh, it's, it's actually got BNC ends on it. You could put anything in here, but this is what I happen to have. And this is for connecting the tuner and the radio that are in here. Okay, might as well cover this as well. I had so much extra space that, uh, you know, not only HF, but I can do, fit the uh, VHF in here as well. Here's a Bofang antenna, as well as a little, uh, just a little patch if I wanted to put the, the rubber duck at the end of the coax and put it up a tree or something stupid. Um, anyway, got that ready for two meter as well, fit, fit inside the ammo can. Okay, now let's start pulling out the gear. Here is the audio cable for the USDX for connecting it to a computer for digital modes. Here is the microphone for the USDX. It's actually a Bofang microphone. It'll work on both the two meter and on the HF. Um, okay, this is actually two things kind of bundled together. Inside this little Tic Tac container is my push to talk circuit uh, that connects to the front of the USDX. And I've also got my power cord here. So this is a just Anderson power pole to the standard barrel connector for the back of the USDX. And then I have my, well, here's a little 3D printed uh, antenna stand for this Ham Geeks antenna. And so this is an extended life battery for the Bofang. Let's put that back there. This is all just coming right out of the can. Also have a four amp hour battery and the connector for that. Now this is what I was powering the USDX with. That's uh, one power source. There's a second power source in here as well. Second power source is this um, 25,000 do milliamp hours in these five volt uh, bricks, but this is a 2.5 amp hour five volt power supply, and this can be used. You can actually use this to power the USDX. Uh, with also in here is this adapter that converts the uh, five volts to 12 volts for the USDX, and that's just a USB to a standard barrel connector. Um, but I was using this to power the Raspberry Pi that's in here. Here's a Pi 3B uh, with everything installed to run headless uh, JS8 call. And so this, this power pack is for that primarily, but it's also got a solar panel. It's rechargeable. And actually, so with this power pack, you can power uh, the Raspberry Pi and you can power the USDX and the tuner. And you can recharge the tablet that I'm going to pull out of here in a second. So actually, you could in theory run indefinitely with this power pack and the built-in uh, solar charger although charging that thing is not necessarily fast this is a spare battery pack um, that I was using to just put on the tuner because I didn't want my tuner going dead while my radio was still powered on this with this these tuners last forever and so that power pack uh, will last quite a long time USB cable for charging this is a buck boost converter so um, for the USDX, if you want to run it at full power, output power, you, you need 13.8 volts. This will take the 12 volts from that battery and bring it up to 13.8. So 
a buck boost, and all these have Anderson power poles on them, so it makes it easy. Um, another little, this is for charging. This lets me plug multiple devices into that battery pack all at once. Just a little adapter. Um, and then as far as the, oh yeah, okay, so I've also got uh, USB GPS because the Raspberry Pi has crummy time uh, keeping cap capabilities. So if you don't want to set your time manually or to a radio signal, you can use a, a GPS for that. And that fits in the can as well. Okay, as far as the radio is concerned, obviously you got, I've got the USDX white buttons version here. It's got some 3D printed stands on it and whatnot. Um, but I've also got uh, an ATU-10-0A um, tuner. These actually stack really well. So usually I'll just stack, I'll just stack those and then uh, you know, connect them with the patch cable. So let me just set that down there. So that's a radio and automatic tuner. The automatic tuner has a battery built in. My USDX does not have a battery built in, um, but both of those will run either off the five volt or off the, the 12 volt battery. And then at the very bottom, I've got a little tablet. This is a super cheap tablet. It's just a Kindle Fire. It's pretty dirty, sorry. I was actually using it. So it's got a keyboard on it, um, ready to go. And I, this is an old one, and it does just fine because we're not running JS8 Call on this tablet. We're actually just running uh, the, you know, the JS8 Call's running on the Raspberry Pi headless. And that's it. So with all this gear, I actually took this out to the park the other day, and uh, with this collection of stuff that fits in the ammo can, you can run GS8 Call uh, all day long, remotely. And the nice thing about this setup too, when I went to the park, and I'll include a picture in the uh, blog post, is that um, you know you set up your antenna wherever your antenna is easy to set up, and then with this short short bit of coax, I did not need to get that coax all the way to my to my, um, to where I was going to sit and operate, I had my radio and my gear and my antenna all there in the, basically in the bushes by the tree, and then I sat at a distance and connected remotely directly to the Raspberry Pi from the tablet, um, so the radio could run continuously, and I just connected when I needed it. So that's what it looks like. That's that's uh, what you can fit in an ammo can very easily with extra space, full HF station with JS8 call and uh, VHF as well.